We are Bellows and Squawk, and we would like to present a series of songs that trace the arc of a typical romantic relationship. Harry Warren composed our first song, I Found a Million Dollar Baby. This is where our couple first meets. <laughs> It was a lucky April shower It was the most convenient door I found a million dollar baby In a five and ten cent store The rain continued for an hour I hung around for three or four Around the million dollar baby in the five and ten cent store She was selling china And when she made those eyes I kept buying china Until the crowd got wise Incidentally, if you should run into a shower Just step inside my cottage door and meet the million dollar baby from the five and ten cent store. She was selling china, and when she made those eyes, I kept buying china, until the crowd got wise. Incidentally, if you should run into a shower, just step inside my cottage door, and meet the million dollar baby. From the five and ten cent store. In the next song, by Mir Bis Duchesne, by Sholem Secunda and Sammy Khan, the happy couple sees the best in each other. Of all the girls I've known and I've known so Until I first met you I was lonesome And when you came in sight dear My heart grew light and this old world seemed dear to me You're really swell I have to admit you Deserve expressions that really fit you And so I've racked my brain trying to explain All the things that you do to me by mere bis to shame, please let me explain. By mere bis to shame means that you're grand. By mere bis to shame, again I'll explain. It means you're the fairest in the land. I could say Bella, Bella, even say Wunderbar. Each language only helps me tell ya how grand you are. I've tried to explain by mere bis to shame. So kiss me and say you understand. Thank you. 
to shame. Please let me explain. By me ear, to shame means that you're grand. By me ear, to shame. Again, I'll explain. It means you're the fairest in the land. I could say never blah even sing each language only helps me tell ya how grand you are. I've tried to explain. So kiss me and say you understand. So kiss me. With the passage of time, they reminisce about how they met in our own original song. Remember, your glance caught mine in a dance pavilion. You were one in a million, love at first sight. That's how we met. You don't know what you're talking about. I have never been in a dance pavilion. That couldn't be the way we met. Beneath a pergola, have you met Miss Boer? Someone said as we shook hands. Or maybe in a vestibule, yes, but there were questions in the eyes of other dancers. Not a pergola or a vestibule, what's the matter with you, such a silly fool? However we met, you ain't said it yet. Sorrento is where we met. It was meant to be that we would sing a duet high up on a bluff. I hear it yet. Sorrento up on a bluff. Who knows where you come up with this stuff? I really think that you're all wet. In a hotel in Panahachel, we danced in a palapa on the lawn. In Chichi Castanango, one night we danced a tango until the light of dawn. It's really anybody's guess how I put up with such foolishness. But what can you do now that we have play a kazoo? Now that we have never, never feel, feel blue. blue. Now, now that, that we, we have met, met we'll, we'll go on meeting. Yasha Yasha is our version of Joseph Joseph by Nellie Kasman and Sammy Khan, depicting a growing conflict in the relationship.
certain maid I know is so afraid her beau will never ask her will she name the day. She sits with him each night and when they dim the light it's ten to one that you will hear her say. Oh Yasha, Yasha, won't you make your mind up? It's how time I knew just how I stand with you. My heart's no clock that I can stop and wind up. Each time we make up after being through. So listen, Yasha, Yasha, time is fleeting. And here and there, my hair is growing gray. My mother has a fear, wedding bells are never here. Yasha, Yasha, won't you name the day? Yasha, Yasha, don't you think you ought Maybe to... Maybe we shouldn't be in too big a hurry. some commitment, hard as that may be. Maybe take our time. I feel so lonely ever since our daughter... It doesn't pay to be hasty. ...moved to New York and got her PhD. I'm so proud Your of her. Your queen is wishing that you came and got Let's her. Let's have a little due diligence. And that at last you carried her I'm away. I'm not emotionally ready for this. I feel receding faith since my recent hip replacement. Oh, Yasha, won't you name the day? In Where Is My Pants, Mickey Katz captured how domestic life can become routine and exasperating. Wherever I look, I'm worried and far blown it. My bathrobe is here, but where is my pants? The closet is full with and pajamas. My cufflinks are there, but where is my pants? It's a sad thing to realize that you don't put things on a place. I could wear a fancy coat, but without pants being a disgrace. I found my galoshes and a package of matzahs. It's my sugar, don't make sense. Boy, where is my pants? Your breakfast I'm making, the blintzes I'm baking. Is ready the latkes? Where is my gangas? Please come to the table, I'll make lox and bagel. We'll make with romance. Where is it's a hard thing to realize that you are such a little schnook. How can I love a yold who lost his pants right off the hook? You'd better mock schnell, the breakfast is burning. I'll make for you poison.
How can I leave the house in jockey shorts? Oy, that's too flimsy. I'm liable to catch a cold. I think I'll call up Dr. Kinsey. I gadank, I remember it happened last September. Oi, honey, don't be bragus. I lost my pants in Las Vegas. Finally, Harry Woods takes us to a crisis in the relationship and how it is resolved. People in love are funny, mighty hard to explain. One minute they quarrel, then they're back together again. Take our case, for instance. We had a little fuss. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, here's what happened to us. We thought that love was over, that we were really through. I said I couldn't love her, that we'd begin anew. And, and you, you can, can all believe us, us. We, we sure intended, intended to, but we just couldn't say goodbye. goodbye. The chair and then the sofa, they broke right down and cried. The curtain started waving for me to come inside. We tell you confidentially, the tears were hard to hide, and we just couldn't say goodbye. The clock was striking twelve o'clock. It smiled at us below. With folded hands, it seemed to say, We'll miss you if you go. So I went back and kissed her, and when I turned around, the room was singing love songs and dancing up and down. And, and now, now we're both so happy, because, because at last we found that we just couldn't say goodbye. We thought that love was over, that we were really through. I said I didn't love her, that we'd begin anew. And, and you, you can, can all believe us, us we sure, sure intended to, to but we just couldn't say goodbye. The chair and then the sofa, they broke right down and cried. The curtain started waving for me to come inside. We, we tell, tell you confidentially, the tears were hard to hide, and we just couldn't say goodbye. The clock was striking twelve o'clock. It smiled at us below. With folded hands, it seemed to say. So I went back and kissed him, and when we turned around, the room was singing love songs and dancing up and down. And now we're both so happy, because at last we found that we just couldn't say. We tried so hard to say. I wanted to, but he wouldn't. Say goodbye. And that's the story from Bellows and Squawk.